Okay, let's begin. So everyone can see me now. I'm spotlighting myself. Great, I can see myself too. Okay, turn your toes out 45 degree. Engage your core. Let's stretch your arms long and nice. Good. Look far forward. Raise your abdomen. Stand up really tall. Knee to center. Exhale, rotate your chest towards one side. Eye gaze, look to the side. Into your back to the center. Exhale, rotate. Good. Can I have that six more times? Inhale, look far forward. Exhale, rotate. Good job. Keep going. Make sure your feet is wide, wide enough. So now open your legs wider. Look far forward. Five more. Inhale and exhale. Now you can slightly turn your ribcage to the side as well. And inhale and exhale. Shoulder neck relax, softening your chest. And I have three more. And exhale. Two more. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Can you turn even more? Now, inhale back to the center. Keep reaching your hands up. From the hip. Keep reaching up, up, up. Really pull the navel close to the spine. And you're going to lean forward. Let me do some side move. You're going to lean forward with your chest and you're going to stick back your tailbone. Make sure your ribcage are lazing in, navel up to the ceiling, crown of the hip reaching forward, eye gaze down. Can you turn your toes in so your ten toes are facing forward, shoulder neck relaxed? Can I have everyone stick the butts back more, tailbone back more? Yes. Good job. Let's just stay here. Keep on breathing. 10 seconds. Now, if your shoulders are tight, you can bring your hands backward a little bit, not too front, backward a little bit. So as long as you pull your shoulder away from the ears. And now the five, inner tight engage. Four, keep your shoulder neck long, ears away from the shoulder. Three, keep on breathing, rekish in. Two, and one, stay there. I want you to slowly reach your hands down as wide as the mat. Not too close, yeah? Wide. Go outside of the mat also, cat. Now, inner tight engage. Push and lift yourself up tall and nice. Eye gaze towards the top of the mat. Neighbor still in, Rikish still in. Now, bring your right hand to the center and push the floor away with the right hand as you roll. Take the left chest and fingers, left fingers up to the Now, can you keep your pelvis really quiet? So push the floor away with the bottom arm. Reach the top arm up. Inner tight and reach. Three. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now inhale, come back to the center. Push the floor away with the other arm. Rotate the chest and reach up to the ceiling. Now avoid throwing your hands back. The top arm reach directly up instead of the back one. Okay? So reach the top arm up. Make sure your 10 toes are relaxing. Three, two, and one. One more time on each side. Change hand, right hand change to the floor. Push the floor, lift the left hand up. Keep reaching the left fingers up to the ceiling. Now make sure you're not sinking down to the right shoulder. Push your right shoulder away from the ears. Three, two, one. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, push the floor away. Lift it up. Can you keep your pelvis really, really quiet? And three. And two. And one. Now, can you come back to the center? Now, look to the top of the mat. Spread your 10 fingers wide. Okay? Then, you're going to walk your hands forward to the front and the top of the mat. You take your time, no rushing. Hands as wide as the mat. Walk your feet back. Come to the first plank. Up the day. Good. Now, don't look down. Don't look up. Look far forward. Engage your core. Spread 10 fingers wide. Keep your legs really straight, like rockets, pushing the crown of the head forward. Now, if that's too much for you, your option is to drop one knee down or even two knees. It's totally fine. As long as you're not sinking your pelvis down, you're not arching your back, you're lazing your ribcage in and navel up close to the spine. Let's just hold here for another 10 seconds. Hold. 10. Keep on breathing. 9. Keep your body long. 8. Breathe. 
and seven. <sighs> Keep your hands wider. Six. Shoulder away from the ears. Five. Four. Keep on breathing. Three. <sighs> Two. Stay with me. And one. Stay there. Now, I just want you to walk one leg in. Okay? Can you see? I'm bending one knee, walk in, and change the other legs in. Can you keep your pelvis really quiet when you walk? Okay, which leg comes in first? Which leg go out? Out. And out. Change side. Now I walk my right leg in, my left leg in. Then I walk my right leg out, my left leg out. Can we do that? Four more sets. Change leg, left leg in, right leg in, left leg out, right leg out. Change side, right leg in. In, out, keep going, out, left leg, in, in, out, out, two more sets, in, shoulder away from the ears, in, out, last set, keep the hips stable, in, in, out, out, very nice, stay in the planks, pull the arms, shoulder away from the ears, really pull the navel up, now make sure you're not sinking down to your shoulder, push the floor away, three, and two, look far forward, and one. Now inhale, ready here. Exhale, tuck your chin in, roll, and lift the hips up. Now, don't move your hands. Keep your hands at the same spot. You can walk your legs forward, open your feet wide. Okay, you can even bend your knees slightly. And everyone, lift up the heels as if you're wearing a super high heel shoes. And push your bum bum back, so you feel more stretch coming from the armpit. Try that. Okay, now if you're okay, your hamstring is not so tight for today, I want you to slowly press your heels down and shift the weight backward towards your heels and your bum bum. Make sure your ribcage, ribcage are lacing together. Okay, ribcage lace, navel in, neck long and nice. Let's just stay there to have a great stretch for the hamstring without arching the back. So you really have to lace your ribcage in and breathe. And five, four, three, two, one. Now look to the top of the mat. Good. Let's step the legs back to the plank. Let's just hold it for another five seconds. Then we are done with the plank. Don't look down. Look far forward to the top of the mat. Really squeeze your sit bones together. Ribcage lace it together. Keep the neck long. Five, legs straight. Four, three two, one, drop your knees down, okay, keep your upper body still, walk your knees forward, become 90 degree directly under your hips, that's about one thing between your knees, okay, so not too wide and not too close, one feet, okay, or slightly wider than one feet is fine, depends on how big is the feet, okay, now from here, make sure you're not sinking down, I want you to lift the armpit up to the ceiling, don't drop down, this part serratus, lift up, Keep the neck long and nice. So don't do that. Long and nice. Ribcage in. Now from here, let's continue some, some rotation. Bring the hands, the back arms to the center. Push the floor and open the front. It's exactly like what we just did at the beginning of the class, right? Now push the floor to rise up higher. Open up the chest. Now from here, I want you to the bottom palms, fingers, turn facing to the front, then without shifting the bum bum back, keep the bum directly on top of the knee, bend the bottom arm, rotate and send the front arm to the back and drop your ears down. Good. So you feel a tremendous stretch on the shoulder blade. So for my side, my left shoulder blade is stretching. My left ear is listening to the floor. My right shoulder is away from my ears. I keep my hip directly on top of my knees. I, I am avoiding sending my bum bum back. I keep my bum bum directly on top of the knee. Just breathe there. And now the five, four, three, two, one. Now let's do a, some mini push up. Press the palms down to the floor to push yourself up and retreat, retreat your hands out. And place it back. Let's change side. So the front arm go to the center, push the floor, opening the back arm, which is up to the ceiling, opening up, make sure your pelvis is directly on top of the knee, looking 
sticking up to the ceiling. Breathe. So make sure you're not sticking down to the front arm. Lift up the arm. Breathe. Three. Two. One. Turn the fingers face to the back of the room. Bend the elbow. Rotate the arm. Send it forward to me. And drop your ears down. Good. So for my side, I'm stretching on my right arm. My right ear is touching the floor. Catch your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ribcage in, ribcage lays together, navel pull close to the spine. Left shoulder, relax away from the ears, away, yeah? And now the five, four, three, two, one. So mini push up from this arm, right? My left arm, push and drag your hands up. Great job, okay? Now you can bring your hands wider, as wide as the mat. Shoulder away from the ears. Let's do some cat and cow stretch. Now I want you to lengthen the chest forward and pull your armpits back and tilt the tube up and look up to the ceiling. Okay? So avoid dropping down. Lift up and forward. Bring your chest up and forward. Tube back. Inhale. Breathe. Now exhale. Push the floor away. Round the spine. Open up the shoulder blade. Bring the tips of the nose towards your pubic bone. Good job. Okay, inhale. Kind of drag your heels of the palms back as you stretch your chest forward. Pulling your armpits back. Lengthening your chest and tilting up. So your hands are pulling back, dragging back. And exhale. Push the floor away. Push the floor away. Round the spine, shoulder blades really wide. Now, can I have that three more times? In you drag the palms in, widen the collarbones, chest forward and up. So even your palms are not moving, but you are dragging, yeah? The sensation of dragging, pressing in. And as you push, push, very nice. Can you try to bring the pubic bone closer to your nose? Three more times. Inhale, drag, widen the collarbone, lift the chest forward and up. Look far forward. Can you keep the collarbones really wide? Exhale, press and round. <sighs> really throws all the oxygen out. Two more. Inhale, breathe. Tube and back, chest up, widen the collarbone. As you really lace the ribs and pull the navel up to the ceiling. <sighs> Last one. Inhale. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. Breathe, 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 breathe. And as you soften, soften, soften. Now, can we maintain here in a ball and flexion shape? Really bring your pubic bone towards your nose. 12 o'clock posterior or Michael Jackson. And bring your nose towards the pubic bone while you're pushing the floor away with your palms. Good. Tuck 10 toes under, especially your pinky toes. Tuck firm. And hover your knees off one or two inches away from the floor. Okay? Avoid shifting the weight forward. Push the weight back more. Now from here, slowly push the bum bum backward and upward. And slowly press your heels down. Aim the chest back towards the toes. Spread 10 fingers wide. Once again, we are in a long inverted V stretch, or we call downward dog in yoga, or long inverted V stretch in Pilates. Feel the stretch coming from your armpit and your side waist. Make sure your ribcage are lazing together, navel close to the spine. Now take your time to rest here. Can I have more weight towards your heels? Can I have your shoulder away from your ears so that your neck are east? Your neck is east. And three, two, one. Now take your time, slowly walk your hands back, super duper slow. Crown the hips down, tuck your chin in, shoulder neck relax. Let's stay in forward bend for 10 seconds. Now, while you're in the forward bend, I want you to shift the weight forward so that your hips directly on top of the anchor. So as if you're going to fall forward, but you will not fall forward because you're engaging your inner thigh and the navel. 
Now, so it's not about how low you go, but it's about how much you create a ball shape for me. So for me, I can't even touch the floor because I have to lengthen my lower back to create a flexion which is coming from my lower back all the way towards my shoulder and neck. So drop the hips down, eye gaze backward. Relax your toes, inner thigh engagement. Let's just stay there. Your arms are totally passive. So just throw your arms down. Don't control your arms. Let the gravity pull your arms down. Shoulder neck relax. Chin tucking in. Crown of the hips facing down to the floor. Eye gaze backward. Hold for another five. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. Now inhale, open the lower back. Exhale, slowly drag yourself up one by one. So keep your hips down, everyone. Drop the hips down, Sarah. I can see you. Drop the hips down. Slowly drag yourself up. Cubone down. Find the wall behind you. Crown the hips down. Pubic bone push forward more, Sonia. Yes. Let's just stand up tall and nice. Good job. Now let's do this standing roll up, roll down two more times. So before we start, I want you to find the stacking. Side front view, ah. Huh? Now, about one piece between your knees, okay? So not too wide, not too close, about one piece. Make sure your 10 toes point directly forward. Don't turn out or in. Directly forward, spread your 10 fingers, 10 toes wide. I want you to find your knees directly stacking on top of your anchor. Your hip bones directly stacking on top of your knees. Your ribs directly on top of the hips. Shoulder directly on top of the ribs. Your ear lobes directly on top of the shoulder. Crown of the head, keep reaching up to the ceiling. Collarbones wide, chest wide, ribcage in, navel in. So immediately we grow taller by one to two cm because we stack everything up. Now, can you maintain the height of the spine, the length of the spine, and inhale, grow even taller? Now, as you exhale, I want you to roll away from the imaginary wall. So the first Vertebra is your neck. So tuck your chin in, roll your neck away, follow by the shoulder blade, middle back, lower back, so drop the hips down, tuck your chin in, crown of the head, crown of the head facing down. So once again, it's not about how much you can go down. Okay, not so much about the hamstring stretch. It's more about the spine articulation in a flexion position. And please keep your arms really, really passive. The heavier the arms are, the better. Because the, the weight of the arms can help you to pull the spine and suction the neck, the spine, neck, yeah, the cervical spine down to create more space between your cervical joint, cervical, cervical spine. Let's hold that for another five, four, three. Keep pulling your navel up to the ceiling. Two, one. Now inhale, feel the lantern and opening of the lower back. Exhale, roll yourself up. Okay, so when you roll up, try to squeeze the sit bone together. Aim the two bone down, drag yourself up. One by one, bone by bone. Pubic bone push forward. Yes, grow up tall and nice. Okay. Now, can I have two more times? Because I see most of us are not articulating the spine enough yet. I need you to find a wall. Let's go to a wall, please. Okay. Now, stick yourself to the wall. Especially, uh, Sarah, you need to find a wall. Because the way you roll down, you are hinging. So, I need the articulation. Okay. So, let's just stick towards the wall. Okay. Your heels is about two inches away from the wall. Okay, so your heels, step forward, step your feet forward, okay? Nice, take your time, good job, okay? It's, I'm, I'm fine with you, you open your legs wider, I'm okay, but not too wide, yeah? So try to bring it close, one to two feet, yep. So before we start, I want three spots touching the wall. The first one is the back of the head, yeah? The second is your shoulder blade. The third is your tube, the pelvis, okay? Let's just stay here and rest for 10 seconds and really soften the chest and the ribcage down. Make sure the center of the head is pressing the wall, not the left or not the right, okay? 
Make sure the center of the shoulder blade is pressing, not too much to the right or too much to the left. And same goes to the pelvis. Good. So while you're standing in this position, can I have you to use one palm to stick behind your lower back? Okay. Check. Is, it, is the gap big or small? Right? So the most perfect gap is about one palm's distance. If it's more than one palm, it means that you are arching too much of your back. Okay, so you have to pull in a little bit more your navel. If it's less than one palm where you can stick in, means you are guarding your hip flexor too much. So you have to let go and aim the tailbone down a little bit more. Okay, so try to give me one palm gap between your lower back to the wall. If you were on the floor, it's also the same. One palm between your lower back and the floor. Okay, now let's just stay there for another five seconds and find the stacking. So the stacking starts from the pelvis because our feet is not directly under our hips. So make sure your hip bones directly under your ribs, your shoulder directly on top of your ribs, your ears directly on top of the shoulder, crown of the head keep reaching up. So three point touching, one palm distance. Now inhale, grow up taller. Now exhale, I want you to peel your head away from the wall. So the first thing, you have to tuck in your chin. So you're rolling your hips away. You're flexing your cervical spine. So tuck your chin in. And the second is peel your shoulder blade away from the wall. And then middle back, lower back. Yes, keep the bum bum still. Huh? Keep the bum bum on the wall. The more you roll down, the more your bum bum glide up towards the ceiling. Drop the hips down, Sarah. Tuck your chin in. Tuck your chin in. Yes, this is tucking your chin. Yes. Your eye gaze must look back towards the wall. Much better, okay? We are looking for more gliding of the bump towards the ceiling and towards the wall, okay? The more the bump can glide up towards the ceiling, the more you're opening your lower back, the more you are engaging your lower abdomen. Arms relax, shoulder relax, eye gaze backwards. Stay there, Sarah, stay there, yes. Relax your toes. Hold for three. Two, one. Inhale, get ready. Now exhale, slowly roll up. Sarah, drop the hips down. Drop your hips down. Yes, slowly roll up. Aim the tailbone down. Glide the bum bum down. Very good. In the tight and gauge. Lower back, touch the wall. Pelvis touch the wall. Sorry, pelvis touch the wall. Shoulder blade touch the wall. The wall. Back of the hip touch the wall. Once again, we back to our standing position. Good. One more time of this. Inhale, grow up tall. And exhale, soften the chest. <sighs> I, I can't touch the wall too much, sorry. Roll, huh? Okay, roll down. Is that okay, Sarah? Roll down one by one, bone by bone. Last one, before we come to a break and rest, roll down. Yeah, if it's too much for you, you can rest for a while. Yes. Crown of the head down. Okay, hopefully by now your pelvis, which is your bum bum, is able to glide up towards the wall and the ceiling even more. The more the pelvis can glide out, it proves that the more you are able to lengthen your lower back. Very good, Sarah. It's fine that you can bend your knees slightly if your hamstring is tight. Good. Let's hold for five, four, three, two. Now inhale, open the lower back. Exhale, roll up. So keep reaching the tailbone down to the floor as you roll up. Very good. The slower, the better. Tailbone down, drag yourself up. Find the wall behind you. Three spot touch. Very nice. Catch your breath. Okay. Can you give me another three minutes before we drink break? Stay where you are. Okay, Sarah? If you're okay, can you find the wall back? It's going to be easier with the wall now. Okay? Now, stay oh, back. I, 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 my husband doesn't like me touching the walls. <laughs> oh, okay, don't worry. So. Stay anywhere you like, okay? Don't okay. worry. Yeah. Now, stay where you like, okay? We are still sticking to the wall, three spots. Now, turn your toes out and heels out, okay? About this distance, yeah? Wider. And step your legs forward, another one more inch. Really pull the navel in and repeat in. Three spots you touching, right? Head, shoulder, pelvis. Now, I want you to reach your hands forward, 
and glide down the tree spot. Now, if your knee is a bit too sensitive, I can allow you to turn your toes up. If your knee is okay, toes still pointing forward. Come all the way down until 90 degrees. Okay, if there's not enough space for you, feel free to walk your feet forward a little bit. So Sonia, walk your feet forward more. Yes, good. And make sure the tree spot is still touching. Okay, stay there. Pluck the shoulder blades back. Ripcage in, pull the navel close to the back of the wall. Hold that, breathe. 30 seconds, stay with me. Very good. Shoulder blades pluck back towards the wall. Good job. And then make sure your legs step forward a bit more. Yes, good job. Nice. Aim the tailbone down. The tailbone down. Good job. Pull the navel in. Pluck. Look far forward. Keep the distance between your shoulder and neck. Breathe. Where's the shoulder blade, everyone? Breathe. Pluck the shoulder blades back. Hello? Pluck the shoulder blades back. Good job. Pluck it back towards the wall. Another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Look far forward. 5, 4, breathe. 3, 2. Stay with me. Stay with me. Now, if you rise up your arms next to the heel, I want the thumb, the thumb pressing towards the wall. Just the thumb. Just the thumb press towards the wall. Now, as you push yourself up, bring your hands down. Lie down, stand up, hands down. Ooh. Can I have that five more times? <laughs> and if you go down, reach your hands up, touch the thumbs up to the ceiling. Yes, good, good, good. Keep the trees going onto the wall. And exhale, push the floor away to rise up. Good job. Four more times. Get down, rise up, open your armpit forward, keep the neck long. Don't arch your back. Raise your ribcage, navel down. And push the floor, rise up. Oh. Legs straight. Three more times, show me. If you glide down, three spots still touching the wall. Very good. Breathe, go lower everyone, come on. Go as low as you can without feeling the tension on your knees. Exhale, push the floor, rise up. Two more, let's go. Two more, let's go. Into down. Come on, stay with me. Big thumb touching the wall. Exhale, push up. Come on, crown the hips up. Long spine, hands down. Good. Three spots still touching the wall. Last one, into down. Good. Stay there. Hold it. Hands forward. I promise, 10 seconds, we are done. I want you to open the hand. Look chest. Good. Now, exhale, round the spine, hug your baby. Good. So your shoulder away, tailbone away from the wall. Eat you. Bring the shoulder and tailbone back. Lift the chest up. Open. Exhale, round and cut. Shoulder away, tailbone close to the nose, tailbone away from the wall. Two more. Eat you. Open up. We are building our thigh. Come on. Three. Exhale, round. Ah. Two more times. In you open, lift the chest up. Keep your knees bent, Sarah. Exhale, round. Pull the navel close to the spine. Last one. In you open up, lift the chest. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Okay, come back towards your mat. Come on, everyone. Come back towards the mat. Come back towards the mat. Come in. I just need. One minute drill, then you can drink break, you can rest, okay? I want your heels to the butt. By now, you are warm enough already, so there's no potential of getting injured. Come on, let's go. Kick your heels to the butt. Let's go, ricketch in. Chest up. Avoid going forward body. Lean back. Heels to the butt, okay? Punch, punch. Come on, show me your feet. Punch, come on. Pull the navel in. Heels to the butt. Shoulder away. Come on, go faster. Go faster. Breathe, breathe. Heels up. Feel the stretch on the quarter set. Catch your breath. Come on, show me your anger. Punch, punch. Another, go on, those up. Come on, five and four. Crown the hips up. Look far forward. Three, breathe. And two, catch your breath. And one, hold your hips. Step forward, lunge. And back, change leg. Go forward, lunge. And back, look far forward. Keep the back heel up. Okay, side wheels. Your back heel has to be up. And back. Back heel has to be up. And back, 
Come on, 10 more. 10, let's go, 10. Woo. And nine, you can place your hands on the hip to stabilize your hip. Give me seven more, seven. Hold your hip forward. Look far forward, don't look down. Look far forward, good. And four. And three, breathe. And two, catch your breath. And one. Okay, face forward, everyone. 30 jump jack, let's go. Come on. Keep the knees soft. We're going to finish after this. One minute drink break. Let's go. Come on. That's too much for you. Your option is to step up. Otherwise, jump. Come on. Jump. Go. Go. Don't stop. Breathe. 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 Keep your knees soft. Everyone, knees soft. So now your legs is too straight. Keep your knees soft. Even though you do a sit option, knees back. Come on. Come on. Another 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Breathe. 5. 4. 3. And 2. And one, okay, step touch. Slow down your heart rate. Breathe, <sighs> inhale nose, exhale mouth. <sighs> Two more breath, inhale, and exhale. <sighs> one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Good job, okay, stay there. Open your legs wider than your hip width. Rather than your hip bone width, stay there. We're just going to cool down a little bit before we get down to the floor. Now, inhale, reach your hands up. Reach it up to the ceiling. Fingertips tall and nice. Look far forward, shoulder neck, relax. Now, as you exhale, press the palms down. Crown, reach it up to the ceiling. And this time, Can I have two more times? Inhale, reach up, fingertips up to the ceiling, neck long, sideways long, fingertips up, long, long, long. Exhale, press down, crawl of the hip, keep reaching up, long, 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 long. One more time, inhale, up. And exhale, crawl of the hips up, 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 tall, 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 tall. Well done. Good job. Okay, let's have about one minute drink break. Within the one minute or one to two minutes, whatever, if you have any question, request, please let me know. Okay, let's drink break for one minute. Okay. Okay. How's everyone doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sarah, so far so good. Okay. Just a bit unfit, that's all. <laughs> no, we are very good. Everyone's doing really good. Okay, Sonia, are you okay? Yeah, but then it's been a while, so it's okay. Yeah, it's, no, good. it's good. It's good workout. Yeah, it's a good workout. Okay, so don't worry. We're going to sit down on the floor soon. But before that, I would like to ask, uh, uh, do you have a ball, Sarah? A ball? Yeah. What ball? kind of a ball? The kids playing the ball, softball. Do you have the ball? No, I'm afraid Sonia, I can you show? It. I don't have it here. Something like that. You don't have something no. like that? No, right? It's okay. Do you mind to replace the ball by cushion? Sure. Yeah, the cushion behind you. Okay, let's break for another 20 seconds. Let me get my ball. Okay, so if you have a ball, feel free to use the ball. If you have no ball, it's totally fine. You can replace it with a cushion, something like that. So of course, you have to make it like more, more or less like a ball shape. So it is for your 
lower back. Okay? Yep. So, I'm going to join Sarah with using the cushion version. If you have the ball, use the ball. Yeah, okay? So, really press the ball or the cushion low in towards your tubule. Okay? So, I will use this. Good job. Now, make sure that you maintain one piece. One piece right, one piece between your knees. So not too wide, not too close, one piece. Ten toes point directly forward. Don't turn up, directly forward. Okay, now let's just sit up tall and nice. Good. Now hands hold behind your thigh and grow up tall. Crown of the head keep reaching up. Your chicken wing, the chicken wing, yeah, face out. Don't drop. Okay, chicken wing face out. Collarbones really wide, tall, so don't run. Keep the chest wide, collarbones wide. Find the stacking again. So it's important to find the stacking. Your ribs directly on top of the hips, shoulder directly on top of the hips, ear look directly on top of the shoulder, crown of the head up. So immediately you grow taller. So inhale, pull and grow taller. Now exhale, I want you to soften the abdominal and you curl back. So run, pressing your tailbone towards the ball. Very good, nice. So look forward, Sarah, don't look forward, don't look to the side. Keep the chest wide, look far forward. Really press your navel down towards the cushion or the ball. Stay there, breathe. And three, two, one. Now in here. here. Now, as you exhale, I want you to tuck the chin in. Pull the crown of the head forward. Chicken wing, which is the elbows, are really wide. Drop the head down between your knees. Stay there. Stretch your elbows out to have more stretch on the shoulder blade. Now, in here, slowly reset the spine. Find the wall behind you. So, let's go up tall and nice. Breathe. Let's repeat that three more times. If you go up top, as you really curl the belly away, <sighs> empty the stomach, create a C curve for me. Collarbones really wide. Can you go down a little bit more, everyone? Yes, without arching. Very good, Sonia. Yes, good. Look far forward, chin parallel to the floor. Breathe. Breathe in, press your navel in. Press your navel down towards the cushion or the ball. Now inhale, ready. And exhale, tuck the chin in. Pull the crown of the hips forward. Collarbones wide, shoulder blades wide. Drop the hips down. Elbow out. Yes. Stomach away from the thigh. And inhale, reset the spine to four and nine. Find the wall behind you. Go up tall. Good job. Can I have that two more times? Inhale, ready. And exhale. Really lace your ribs in. Really soften the navel towards the ball. And press the ball down with the spine. Press the ball down with the navel. Soften the chest. Look far forward. Chin parallel. Stay here. Now, can you maintain this crescent shape? Can you maintain this beautiful flexion? and let go of your arm one by one. Let it go. Collarbones wide, soften in your chest. Breathe, really press your navel down. Five, four, look forward, chin parallel, chin parallel, three, chin parallel, two, one, in here, here. Exhale, dive down, reach the fingers towards the outer of the pinky toe. Look at that, shoulder relax. Stay there. Shoulder neck relax. Now in your rise up. Breathe. Fingertips reach forward together with your chest like a snake. Breathe it up. Reach it up. And up. And exhale. Draw a big circle to the side. Draw the head. Keep reaching up, 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 up. Let's the spine. And let's do that one more time. Reach your hands forward. Shoulder away from the ears. Keep the chest and collarbone wide. And exhale, curl back. Soften. Make sure your 10 toes still pressing down first. Shoulder neck relax. Looking forward. Chin parallel. Lift up the chin. Chin parallel. Good job. 
Go to your maximum point where you can maintain this beautiful crescent shape. Shoulder neck relax. Stay there. Now inhale here, ready? Exhale, rise up one arm next to the ears. Really pull the navel close. Pull the navel down to the floor, to the ball, to the cushion. Keep your hands forward. Change up. Exhale, trembling the core. Looking far forward. Eat. Can I have two more times? Show me. And exhale. Woo. And eat. Last one. And exhale. Good. And inhale, both hands go forward, look forward, inhale here, exhale, dive down, keep the shoulder blades wide, drop the hips between your knees, reach the fingertips long and nice, neck to the pinky, breathe, shoulder relax, neck relax, toes relax, now inhale, rise up tall and nice, together with your chest and fingertips, reach it up to the ceiling, up, 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 breathe, and exhale, reach it up long, go long, crowd, hip, hip, reaching up, reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Good job. Let's stay here. Keep the spine upright. Find a second. Now from here, I want you to reach your hands forward. Good, stay there. And then naturally open to a diamond shape. Okay? So front wheel from here, just naturally open. That's it. So it's like a diamond. And bring your feet a bit closer towards each other. Okay, so from here, open and bring it in closer, but you're still sitting up tall and up. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the front. Make sure the ball or the cushion is on you. Good job, okay. Now, sit up tall, hands go wider, collarbones go really wide. Nice, really, really wide. Pluck back the shoulder blade, as if you're still on the wall. Pluck back the shoulder blade, sit up tall. Now from here, I want you to rotate towards your left side. So this is my left. So you go to your left, turn, and reach the front arm forward, and look back towards the back arm. Are you still sitting up tall and nice? Now if you come back to the center, reach your hands forward. Shoulder relax, keep up tall. Change side, and I turn my right arm, and I reach my left arm forward, and I look back towards the arm. But I keep my spine upright, tall, oh, nice. Then I come back to the center. Okay, okay, let's do that four more times. Before we go, pluck back the shoulder, sit up, in heel, sit up top, and maintain the length of the spine as you rotate. Look back towards the back fingers. Stay there. Can you grow up taller? Can you rotate more from the chest and the In heel, back to the center. Three more times. <sighs> sit up taller, roll top, rotate more. <sighs> Back to the center. Two more times. You really have to sit tall and rotate. Every time we roll taller, the more we rotate, the more we grow tall and rotate. Back to the center. Last one. Really tall, tall. You grow two to three cm taller. Okay, now can you stay there and reach up taller? Now everyone look to the front and look to your front fingers and reach forward. Reach far, reach far and look to the, but once you reach all the way forward, the max you can go, then you can slowly turn your head, look back towards the back finger. Now if your neck is feeling uncomfortable, you can always look down towards your toes. Choose your option. Okay, stay there. Now, can you keep both hips stable, pelvis stable? So avoid shifting the bump up. Hold for three, two, one. Now sit heavy on both bum bum to drag yourself up. Drag up. Ah, come on up. Come back to the center. Shoulder relaxing. Change side. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, rotate. Roll taller, rotate more, and turn your face facing the front arm. Reach all the way forward and down. Then you can slowly look back towards the back fingers. If that's too much for your neck, feel free to look down. Make sure both of your shoulders are relaxed. Three. And three. 
two, one, heavy on both sit bones, and slowly drag yourself up, tall and nice. Come back to the center. One more time on each side. Lock the shoulder blades back. Into and exhale. In you roll top. As you rotate more, look to the front arm, reach further to me. Come on, reach to me, reach to me, reach to me. And press down, roll the shoulder, lift the chest. Lift. And slowly drag yourself up, tall and nice. Come back to the center. Last one, let's finish it. Pull out the shoulder blades back. Inhale and exhale. Grow taller first. Rotate more. And, and reach forward and exhale. Roll the back shoulder back. Relax the front shoulder. And three, two, and one. Drag yourself up. Find the spine tall and nice. Come back to the center. Now let's just stay there. Can I have you to hold your shin bone? Okay? Hold your shin bone. And as you curl back towards the ball ball again, I want you to pull up. The sensation is pulling up. Pull up, shoulder blades down, drop the head down. Now inhale, pull up even more. Bend your elbow, lift the chest up. Collarbones wide. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Okay, now we do the same thing, but instead of pull up your hands, you push towards your toes. Push your hands. Push your hands towards the toes, round the spine. Push, push, as if you're taking your stocking away from you. Shoulder blades want. And inhale, pull the stocking up and lift the chest, collarbones wide. Give me two more. Exhale, draw, and push the stocking away. Push. Make sure the ball or the cushion is still back. Shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, pull and drag and lift the chest. So the thing is from the upper back, not from the lower back. You're extending from the upper thoracic, upper back. And as you wrap. <sighs> Good job. One more time. Inhale, pull. Collarbones wide. Armpit down. Exhale. Take the stocking out. Good. Now find the center line. Sit up tall and nice. Great job. Very good. Now let's bring the cushion on the ball away from you. Okay. Let's face forward. Let's do some sideways movement. Mermaid. Now can I have you to bring, this is my right leg, to bring the right leg forward. Shin bone align with the neck, it's like a ruler. So don't bring too in or too out, align, okay? Your left leg, bring it out. So it is an outer rotation for my front leg and an inner rotation for my back leg. So the back leg, which is my left leg, my hip tend to hike up, but I want to avoid that. I want to try my best to sit my left sit bone down. So my two hip bones are equal. Try my best, okay? Good. Now let's just sit up tall, hips are equal. Crown of the hips up. Good. Now let's reach the hands far forward. Shoulder relax. Fingertips reach it out. Now from here, sit up really tall. Grow taller. Now as you exhale, I want you to pour the water out from your right ear. Yes, and press the right hand down. Now make sure your right shoulder is not plucking out. It's plucking back and directly inside the socket. Push the floor away. Right hand push so the left arm bum sit down more. So it's not up, push and press the left arm bump down. Lift the chest up, reach toy. Good. Very nice. So your right ear, just listen to the floor. Reach the left fingers long, press the floor, aim the left arm bump down. Three. Rikish in, find the wall behind you. Two. And one. Now sit heavy on both bum bum, especially the left one. Drag yourself up. Three. One more time. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, pour the water to the right side. 
press the floor away. So don't go to the floor. Press away. Sit heavy. Rush out. Right shoulder. Relax. Find the wall behind you. Good. Now from here, I want you to add on a rotation. Before we rotate, bring the bottom palms face forward. Turn in. Elbows face back. And then you rotate the front arm to the back. And then back to us. The left arm. Good. So the left arm down naturally will come up. Very nice. And that means you sit back the left arm bum down, turn the right palm facing out again, and come back to a side bending. Okay, one more time. If you turn, exhale, rotate, and send your arms back. Naturally lift up the left side bone, shoulder away, chest facing directly to the side. And turn your hips looking towards the left arm. Three, two, one. Sit the left bum bum down, turn your right fingers up, come back to the side bend. Good. And heavy on the left bum bum, come back up. Nice. Now reach your hands out, keep your hands out, use your core to swing your legs to the other side. Nice job. So now my left leg is in the front, shin bone aligned with the mat. My right leg is back, outer rotation front leg, inner rotation back leg. Right sit bone. Press down, keep square, okay? Now sit up tall and nice, collarbones wide, shoulder neck relaxed, breathe. Now feet you grow up taller. Exhale, pour the water towards my left side. You push the floor away. So once you push the floor away, immediately your right bum bum can be down. Immediately you're curling your left waist away from the floor. And reach your right fingers out. Left ears should listen to the floor. Left shoulder relax, breathe. So you want to aim the right rib cage up to the ceiling. You want to push the left ribs in towards the ceiling, towards up to the ceiling as well. Three, two, one. Now right sit bone down, drag yourself up tall and nice. Shoulder away from the ears, fingertips reaching out. One more time, thank you. And exhale, pour the water out. Keep the right sit bone heavy on the floor. Reach out, left shoulder relax, stretch it up. Make sure your body is still sticking towards the imaginary wall behind you. Now from here, turn your left fingers facing forward. Rotate your chest facing down to the floor. Send your right arm back, eye gaze towards the right fingers. Keep your left shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, turn your left fingers out, press your right bum bum down, come back towards the side bend, left shoulder relax, find the wall behind you. One more time, turn, rotate, let the right hips peel off naturally. And then inhale, sit down, side bend, find the wall, left shoulder relax. Now, heavy on the right bum bum, drag yourself up, reach your hands out, tall and nice. Bring the legs forward, open it uh, wider than your hips. Shoulder neck relax. Reach your hands forward, shoulder relax, clap the shoulder legs back. Now, and exhale, dive down from the imaginary wall. Dive away from the imaginary wall, reach your hands forward and down. And finally, relax your toes. Ah, relax the whole body. Stay there for another 10 seconds. Focus on your breathing. Let's just breathe through the nose. Inhale nose. Exhale nose. Shoulder neck relax. Breathe. Now inhale, open the lower back. And exhale, slowly roll yourself up. Vertebra by vertebra, bone by bone. Good job. And that's it for today. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay. Stop recording. Stop recording.